Hello and welcome! In today's video we are going to learn three picking patterns and three strumming patterns that you can use instead of the island strum. The island strum is one of those patterns that works with so many songs, but I know that sometimes you want to get creative and do something a little different, so that's why we're doing this today. For today's video you will need chord C and chord G. That's it. I wanted to keep that part simple so that we can really focus on the strumming and the picking. Before we get started, I want to let you know about the ukulele that I'm playing today because this is under $100. It has over 7,000 ratings on Amazon. It is an Amazon Choice product. This is the DUC 100 Mahogany Ukulele from Donner. The ukulele has a really great sound as you'll hear in this video. It comes with Aquila strings. It also comes with accessories like a strap pre-installed strap buttons, a backpack gig bag, so it has two straps, as well as the clip-on tuner and a few other things. I will link this ukulele down below because if you need a reliable instrument that is really affordable or if you're considering buying a ukulele for a friend that you want to get started on a really good instrument that will encourage them because sometimes people start on a cheapo instrument that doesn't work and that's discouraging and they stop playing. I'm going to link this down below, but you can also just search for it as DUC-100. This is the Donner ukulele. All right, our first picking pattern sounds like this. Let me teach you how to do it. Go to a C chord and pick on C, A, E, A, C, A, E, A. I'm using the thumb for C and E and the index finger is working A string. So thumb, index, thumb, index, thumb, index, thumb, index. The thumb is just doing a little bounce from both strings. So count this as one and two and three and four and, and then go to the next chord. So let's try that on C chord. One, two, uh, one, two, ready, go. Now let's give four beats of C, switch to G, then back to C. Here we go. One, two, oh, one, two, ready, go. One and two and three and four, switch, switch. The switch comes pretty fast, right? All right, let's go to the next picking pattern, which is a variation of the one that we just did. You're just going to pick on your lowest sounding string and your highest sounding string. So it's going to be one and two and three and four. And. This picking pattern can be used in a section of a song. I wouldn't use it for a whole song. It can really build up some intensity because of the repetition of it. So let's try just thumb index, thumb index, C, A, C, A. Same thing as the first chord progression. We're going to switch to G chord. Here we go. One. Start on C chord, two, uh, one, two, ready, and one, and two, and three, and four, switch, switch, three, and four, switch, and on a strum. Nice. Okay, so now we have one last picking pattern before we go to our strumming patterns. This is more complex, but uh, I definitely think that you can do it if we slow it down. I'm going to assign one finger per string, starting with my thumb on G, index on C, middle on E, ring on A. Now just try to move each finger. Don't try to pull out. That's going to make it very harsh and it's going to slow you down. Try to just move the finger to the next string over. Think about it this way. Look at my hand. It's just kind of like a Muppet hand closing gently, right? Very gentle. Ukuleles don't have to be forced to be loud. The fact that they're so high sounding helps the sound carry. So aim for beauty over volume. So our picking pattern is going to be G, C, E, A, E, C, A, E. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and then you switch 
One and two and three and four and. Let's go slowly. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. Switch. One and two and three and four. Switch. One and two and three and G chord. Nice. Strum. Yeah, nice job. Alrighty, now we're gonna go to our strumming patterns. The first one is pretty simple. I wanted to start with something that is easy to replace. So it's gonna be down, 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 down. And then you switch chords. One, two, three, four, and a one, two, three, four and a one okay together here we go one two ready c chord one two three four and a one two three four and a one two three g finish with one strum and let the ukulele ring before you stop or move you want to let that sound just travel until it fades on its own all right, the next pattern involves a chuck, and a chuck is a muting of the string. So to chuck, you rotate through your strum, and you use that the side of the thumb to basically just block the sound or stop the sound. I have a full chucking tutorial, so if you need help with chucking, like a dedicated video, I will link that one. But um, this pattern is down, up, chuck. Down up, chuck up, down up, chuck up, down up, chuck up, down up, chuck up. The great thing about having the chucks exactly where they are is that if you're playing for people, they know exactly when to clap along to music because you're giving them that with the chuck. So let's try that together. One and two and ready, you got this, go. G chord. G chord, finish it, yeah, nice job. Alrighty, for the last strumming pattern, I've saved the most challenging, most difficult pattern, but this one was a direct request from someone who saw the video where I did interesting chord progressions. Somebody asked, like, do you have a tutorial in this strumming pattern? So that comment inspired today's video. Thank you so much for your comments and your questions and requests. So this one, I'm gonna play it sped up and then I'll break it down. For some of you, that sounded like impossible and for others, you got it without the tutorial. So let me just break it down and um, we'll do it together. I was trying to write the counts on this and this is the best way that I could figure it out. You're gonna have your downs, the first four downs count as beats. So one, two, three, four, and your next ups are gonna be on the end. And, 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 and the last four parts are three and four and. So it's, if you're tapping your foot, the beats, like the numbers, get the down when you're tapping. The ends are when your foot's in the air. So it's one, two, three, four, and, and, and down, up, down, up. Again, ready, go. Down, 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 up, 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 down, up, down, up. Again, two, ready, go. Down, 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 up, 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 down, up, down, up. If you can't do it, tap it with me. Ready, go. Down, 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 up, 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 down, up, down, up. And so we're gonna do one of those patterns, then switch the chord, switch, switch. Okay, let's try that. One, two, ready, go. Down, 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 up, up. Up, down, up, G chord, down, 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 up, 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 down, up, C chord. 
up, down, up, G chord, down, 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 up, 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 down, up, finish it. Yeah! Nice job! You did it! If you would like me to make a part two to more picking patterns and more strumming patterns, please comment some purple emojis down below. And if I see a lot of purple in the comment section, then I'll know to make more and I'll start planning it all out. Remember that I've been playing the DUC 100 ukulele. I'm gonna link this down below. It sounds really good. I'm pretty impressed with it. It's also very lightweight, which I like lightweight instruments. So I'm gonna link that down below. Thank you so much for being here today. I hope that you subscribe to the channel if you were not subscribed already. We also have a Facebook group named Euglandia that I'd love to invite you to be a part of. It's a really positive and cheerful community and people share their progress through their ukulele journey from day one and continue sharing. I mean, some people have been playing 40 years and have, some people have been playing 40 days. So it's a really mixed batch, but everybody's really friendly and welcoming. And playing the ukulele can sometimes get a little lonely because not a lot of people play it yet. So it's a really great way to connect with others. So join our Facebook group. Alrighty fam, I'll catch you in the next one. Take care. Ciao.